Ford says that Bondi's no place for a cowboy. That's his new single and he joins us now. Mate, how did the title come about and congratulations on the single? Thank you very much. About 12 months ago I was in Bondi and uh, I was in Sydney recording a film clip and doing an online concert over there as well. So doing a few things and staying in Bondi and Bondi's an interesting place. Bondi's a uh, you know, Hollywood by the sea and when I came home I was in two weeks quarantine and sitting at home thinking about Bondi and uh, the concept came into my mind about uh, you know somebody being out of place in Bondi and hence the title Bondi's No Place for a Cowboy and it all flowed from there. Tell us how it's been received gone back to a little bit of more of the country rock elements uh, that I sometimes write and I think everyone's uh, hooked onto the title as well and um, I think people were looking forward to a video being made of it. A lot of people said I can I can just picture a video being made of this of you know cowboy on the beach etc etc and so people are, are looking forward to more unfortunately because of COVID I, I haven't been able to do a video for it just yet haven't been able to uh, strap my stuff on Bondi and yeah I, I love the tune I, I love the uh, the surf type of element that you you have in the song as well and some of the backing vocals and and some of the lead guitar as well. I want to see the boots and the spurs on the surfboard, mate. Exactly right. It's exactly right. A bit of Alan Jackson, Chattahoochee, but uh, Bondi style, I reckon. And it'd be good if you can get the Bondi rescue people involved too, you know, and uh, turn the tables. The cowboy's got to go out and rescue them. (laughs) <laughs> you know, maybe lasso someone and everything. Oh, mate, it writes itself. Oh, there's so much fun to be had with it. So hopefully uh, it gets another um, bump when I uh, eventually make a video for this number. Recorded in Texas where you've done a bit of stuff. What's the process like for you, even though it's a long way away? We had to do things a little bit differently. I recorded the first four songs of my upcoming album uh, last or September 2019, and I was due to go back in March 2020, and uh, that obviously didn't happen. And so throughout last year, I, I kept writing songs. And March of this year, we did a few things remotely. So I did guide tracks here and recorded just at home, sent them over there. And then I tuned in live whilst the band was laying down some bed tracks and gave my thoughts and directions. And eventually I did my vocals actually with Matt Fell over in Sydney. It's been a true international collaboration, which is almost really fitting because a lot of the songs are about my travels in, uh, in Texas and also trying to get from Australia to Texas sometimes as well. So, yeah, it's an album fitting of both the production and our approach, but also the songs as well. The satisfaction of it under the duress that it's gone to put this together, does it give you a little bit more satisfaction that you've been able to still pull this off? It does, and you reflect back and, and you realise that what you're producing probably wouldn't have been what you produced had you not gone through that times. I was writing songs two years ago that I was going to record and release. COVID happened, 2020 happened, and I wrote different songs, and they actually seemed to fit a little bit better. So it was a little bit of a blessing in disguise in terms of the concepts of the songs that I'm releasing at the moment. And I think in the end, uh, even the guys in America... They went through a really tough time and one of them was stuck in London and had COVID and various things. So for them to come back and uh, still record it, I think they found it immensely satisfying as well. And the initial discussions we had come to fruition, I guess. There's been some great creativity along the way, people doing online things. If people want to follow you and how you're dealing with the next few months, what's the best way for people to keep in touch with what Matt Ward's doing? The various socials, so Facebook and Instagram, but also up a website, mattwardmusic.com. And on my website, you can also find some of my music that you can buy and albums that you can buy as well, which always helps. We're going to play the single now. This is a bit of fun, folks. It's called Bondi's No Place for a Cowboy, and this is Matt Ward. Bondi. 